Quotients of rational numbers understand that integers can be divided, and provided that the divisor is not zero, and every quotient of integers is a rational number. If p and q are integers, then the negative of p divided by q is equal to negative p divided by q is also equal to p divided by negative q. These are the standards that we're going to talk about today, and mostly it's for us to realize that fractions are actually division operations. And because they're an operation, we have to follow the integer operation rules, which are positives and negatives. You should have the sleepy man on your notes page, and that'll help you to kind of rehash all those rules and help you to make good decisions about even in fraction form, how division will determine the integer um, solution of your equation. So first of all, let's talk about traditional division. And traditional division um, is set up in many different ways. You can have a division um, bracket, right? We could say x divides into y. And that particular setup can be used with positives and negative numbers in any configuration, right? So we can have x divided by negative y, or we could have negative x divided by negative y. Again, replacing x and y with numbers, this will also um, make sense, right? So if x is 2 and y is 4, 2 divided by 4 is 2. Negative 2 divided by 4 is, um, well, a negative number divided by a positive number is going to leave us with a negative number. So it's negative 2. 2 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. And negative 2 divided by negative 4 is positive 2. So all of those setups are indeed true, right? With division, we have to follow the integer rules, use the sleepy man, use your love and hate sentences, whatever you want to do in order to make sure that your answer has the correct sign. When we're in fraction form, it's important for us to remember that the same rules apply. Even though it looks like a fraction, there are still two integers that are being divided into one another. So for right now, let's slide our sleepy man down a little. Um, well, using variables, we can say that negative p divided by q is one form of integer fractions. We could say negative p over q, or we could say p over negative q, right? So let's say that p is equal to 9 and 3 is um, q is equal to 3. Making those substitutions, the negative on the outside of my 9 over 3, well, 9 over 3 is 3, and the opposite of 3 is negative 3. Negative 9 over 3 is negative 3. 3, right? Because there's a negative. Um, a negative number divided by a positive number is negative. And lastly, 9 over negative 3 is again negative 3 because a positive number divided by a negative number is a negative number. This lesson is purely so that you can see and understand that traditional division has to follow the integer rules and therefore fraction division also has to follow the integer rules. This is also to point out that these three fractions, with a negative on the outside, with a negative in the numerator, or with a negative in the denominator, all have the same solution. They all have a solution of negative three. So a number can be written several different ways and still have the same solution, especially when we're talking about positive and negative numbers or integers. Let's look at a couple of examples for your proof. Um, I would like you to write the fraction negative 4 over 2 in two more 
forms. In addition to writing the fraction negative 6 over 2 in two more for equivalent forms, right? So this should equal this and this.